Hi everyone, it's Phil from Ashen Leather and we've got a $1 coaster grab bag going up right now. This is one of the special surprises for our holiday sales. And I also have a couple other items that are a surprise today. We have some brand new Chicago combs and we also have a lot of new one-shot card cases. So let's take a look first here at some brand new coasters. And I thought it'd be fun to get some new Horween leathers into your hands. And in the form of a coaster, I thought would be a little bit more useful. So I wanted to give you a look at some of these and they're all random. So each of these are a dollar, but you don't get to pick the color. So the first one here is a really interesting textured version of an English tan Dublin. There's also a little bit more smooth version of these. Again, you won't be able to pick out which one you get. And it's all random, but they're all pretty cool. So that's another English tan Dublin. And English tan Dublin is pretty varied. Here's a black Chrome Excel. I like this one very much. We also have a black Dublin somewhere hiding in here. And here's a color number eight Chrome Excel, which is that really nice oxblood shade. There's also some other colors in here, like a brown. There's a brown Chrome Excel. And I also see some natural Chrome Excel in here. So if you want to pick up one of these, I thought it'd be a fun way to share some more leather with more people. You can get one of these coasters for a dollar on the flash sale page of our website. And also up on that flash sale, I've got this Model 8 Chicago comb. And this is one of the carbon fiber combs that they make, and we make a leather sheath for it. So these are a little bit different than the other Model 1 combs. You can see this has a pretty large handle on it and extra wide tines. So they, I was asking the guys at Chicago comb, they said a lot of women really like this product, but also men with larger beards tend to find these wider uh, comb teeth to be a little bit more useful. I like the carbon fiber combs because they're naturally anti-static, so my hair doesn't cling up to it, but it's also super strong. Like I'm really digging into these tines right now. It's gonna be near impossible to break these. So this is a really nice comb that should last you the rest of your life. And I also have the more classic and the original Chicago comb. This is the Model 1 comb from them. This is also in carbon fiber, so you get that really strong carbon fiber, that matte black finish. And we're selling these with a couple of different leather sheets. So the new one here, I don't think anybody's ever seen before from us. This is a leather called Latigo from Horween, but it is black finish on top of a red Latigo. So you get this really interesting cross section of red. And we thought it'd be fun to make a matching red thread with it to accentuate a little bit more of that red. And I'll give you a peek on the inside here. You can see all the inside of this leather is red as well as the cross section is red. And the two other comb sheets that I have here that are up on small batches are shell cordovan. And we've never done the shell cordovan sheets with the carbon fiber before. And I thought I'd do that uh, right now because I think it's a nice price point for a gift where the metal combs were a little bit less palatable, I would assume, uh, for people. It's, it's quite a bit more expensive for the metal comb, but some people are a little turned off by the thought of a metal comb. I actually really like my metal comb. Um, but people think it's a little sharp. I don't think it's sharp at all. I think people imagine metal touching their head and they get a little bit concerned. But these are all being sold right now with the carbon fiber combs. So you can fully avoid that conversation. And I have this uh, black reverse sheath here, which you can see the black reverse is a little bit more green. And there's also an option to pick up a color eight reverse and the color eight is a little bit more tan and reddish and orange. And you can see here, I have a bunch of new one-shot card cases. Let's go over these one by one because there's several things in here that um, are new for you. These are things and leathers that I've been collecting for years just because I saw them at the tannery and I was just really inspired by them. And up first here, this is one of those leathers that really inspires me. This is a Horween leather that you probably never heard of. It's actually a leather called Glazed Whaler. That's just the name of the tannage, just Whaler. And I think the glazed part of it means that they've glazed a little bit of brightness onto the surface. And what Whaler is, it's a leather that is tanned from the shoulder of a steer. And they intend to shrink that grain layer above the fiber layer. They intend to shrink that a little bit faster than the fiber layer. So the result, when they tan the grain a little faster, is you, it sort of puckers up and you get this interesting textured look, especially in something like a shoulder of the animal. Just a little bit more texture than other parts of the skin. But I really like this vivid aqua blue shade of that glazed whaler. So this is up on the site. I also really like this one. Here's another textured piece. This is a leather called Vermont. And Vermont is a non-chrome leather 
from Horween. I think this is an aldehyde tannage. So it's not chrome and it's not veg. It's just a different type of curing done for this leather. But the result is a really soft feel. And it has like a really interesting veg feel to it. This is one of those leathers, if you're familiar with a veg, you might think of a veg as like sort of cardboardy and firm. This veg has the veg feel where it has like a nice round bite to it, but it's also very soft and pliable that you can probably see from me just squeezing it here. This is a tumbled leather from Horween. You can see all that really nice tumble texture in here. And I thought it would be nice to put a brighter blue th uh, thread, a nice complimenting blue stitch on this natural Vermont leather from Horween. And speaking of a blue thread, I thought this natural shell cordovan one shot would go really well with the navy thread. I've really been enjoying the natural and navy these days. So this is a really nice one shot here in shell. We have another shell piece here. And this is, this is a funky one. And we weren't really sure what to call this, but technically this was intended to be marbled shell cordovan on the ultraviolet, ultraviolet, excuse me. But you can see that it doesn't have that marbling that you might come to expect uh, from all the other marbled stuff that we've shown you before. So I've been calling this modeled ultraviolet. So it has a little bit of color depth. You can see on here, there's a little bit of this dark section on the top, a little bit lighter on the bottom, but it never gets fully down to that base tannage, that natural color, which is why I'm calling it modeled. And there's, these are all random. I think these are really, really interesting. Here's another fun leather. And we've seen some Latigo leathers from Horween before. This is a color called Rio, which for a long time, this was a really popular color on the Latigo leather. In fact, there was a uh, automobile manufacturer that was making a special edition of their car with this leather and color as the interior of that. It was actually for a truck. And this is a really nice caramel color. It kind of reminds me of like the lighter tones of the English tan Dublin or it kind of reminds me a little bit between like an amaretto and a whiskey shell cordovan color. Here's another shell piece. This is color eight reverse shell cordovan. We've had a lot of people that really want an ink stamp and I thought it'd be good to make some one shots in the reverse shell cordovan and specifically cut the Horween ink stamp into it. We also did a bunch of these in the black reverse shell cordovan and you can see the black reverse again is that more greenish color. Both of these are really cool and we cut ink stamps into all of them. Here's another one we saw before, and this is a double printed sort of mad scientist Skip Horween experiment. He thought it'd be interesting to try to print a piece of shell cordovan two times. So this is a color four shell cordovan piece that Skip Horween printed twice. It's kind of like a more fine hatch grain texture, which I think is really neat. And speaking of texture, here's another fun one. This is Chrome Excel leather from Horween, but this is a color called tan. And the tan is a little bit more orangey, sometimes a little bit more red on the pull-up color there. And you can see the surface is a little bit more brown. And then this one has a scotch grain texture impressed into it, which I think is really cool. And here's another scotch grain one that I don't think you've seen before. This is a leather called Dublin that you're probably familiar with, but this is a color of Dublin that you've probably not seen. This is color eight Dublin. So it's a little bit darker of a burgundy shade with that wax layer of the Dublin that's been finished onto the surface. It almost reads like a dark, dark brown, but if you look at the pinch and the burst effect of color on this guy, some of those reddish sort of oxblood tones, a little bit more browns show up for the undertones. And of course, with that scotch grain print on the top, that makes this one really unique. And I have a couple more unique Latigo pieces. This is actually a leather called Regatta Blue Latigo. And I've been holding this leather for a long time because I really like the color. In fact, I made a key fob out of this leather about 10 years ago. Let me grab that really quick. So about 10 years ago, I made this key fob in that same Regatta Blue Latigo. And take a look at how much this color has changed. That is really crazy. I made this with the red stitching on there because I thought it, it kind of reminded me of Superman. And I thought it was fun. Uh, but man, look how cool this Latigo ages. I'm glad that I have this key fob still to show you how this bright blue, regatta blue changes over time. I think that's really fascinating. And in fact, this is how the teal Latigo also ages. We have some Johnny the Foxes in the teal Latigo that people sometimes ask me how that ages. And it looks really neat. All of the Latigo from Horween ages really, really well. And I need to give you some more before and after examples of how that works. And here's another Latigo piece, but this is an extra, extra thin piece of Kelly green Latigo. And this is actually on a horse hide. 
you might, if you have a really keen eye, you might be able to tell that the grain character is slightly more grainy on the on the horse hides when compared to the steer hides. There's just a little bit more density of the grain character, but I thought it'd be fun to include a super thin piece of horse hide in this one shot collection. And I think this was the favorite of the batch from the people in the shop here. This is a leather that's it's shell cordovan leather, but this is the tumbled ver degree. But you can see that this tumbled ver degree doesn't have very much texture in it. A lot of those tumbled pieces of shell, we see a lot of highs and lows in pebbling. These pieces, I cut a few of these, I think there's about six that are a little bit more smooth, but what's cool about them and the reason that I chose them was because they're that unique sort of ver degree color. It looks like the Statue of Liberty that's just been aged a little bit, it's sort of like a lighter green, hints of yellow, hints of brown in it, sort of like an old copper color. I think that's really neat. And this one also has a gray stitching on the edge, I think complements it very nicely. And we have two more one-shot card cases to show you. This one is in a leather called Dublin, which is that veg tan, incredible grain character that I like. And the color here is called Nut Brown. So it's a little bit dark and a little bit green of a brown, which is kind of interesting. It's like a curious color where it sometimes looks green and sometimes looks orange to me. If you look at the pinch color here on the spine, it's like an interesting orangey green brown sort of look. And I like the Dublin very much. If you haven't tried a piece of Dublin, I highly suggest picking out a Dublin wallet uh, from anybody, including myself. And the last one shot card case to show you, this is Shell Cordovan with a gator texture on it. I really like these intense textures, especially in something like the black shell cordovan. I think that is just like a really interesting, sleek look. Uh, so thanks for checking all the one shots. And for the coasters, I'm hoping that you pick up some coasters because I do have quite a few of them here. I have a few boxes of coasters. And I, the goal here for Ashland has always been just to share Horween leather with more people. So I thought it'd be a good way to do that by offering these to you for $1. So feel free to pick up a bunch. And if you pick up a few, I'm gonna to try to include a few different leathers in there for you to experience for yourself. Because for me, that's what it's all about, just sharing leather with more people. So thanks for checking it out. Until next time, hope you have a good one.